In this video, we will explain the logarithm log base 2 of x cubed times x plus 5 to the second power over 4 times a times cube root of b all to the fourth power. To explain this logarithm, we will use the product, the quotient, and the power rules. In the product rule, the logarithm of a product, x times y, is expanded as a sum of two logarithms. So, log base b of x times y equals log base b of x plus log base b of y. In the quotient rule, the logarithm of a quotient equals the difference of two logarithms. So, log base b of x over y is expanded as log base b of x minus log base b of y. And in the power rule, we have the logarithm of an exponential expression and the exponent is moved in front of the logarithm. So, log base b of x to the power of c equals c times log base b of x. Now, in our problem, we have the logarithm of a big expression that is raised to the fourth power. We can start this problem in two different ways. We can either take each factor in the numerator and in the denominator and raise it to the fourth power, or we can apply the power rule and move this 4 in front of the logarithm. I will start by moving the exponent 4 in front of the logarithm. So, I will write 4 times log base 2, and now I will copy the whole expression down. Here we have it. And now in the numerator, we have a product of two factors. One of them is x cubed, and the other one is x plus 5 to the second power. The logarithm of this product will be expanded as a sum of two logarithms. Now in the denominator, we have a product of three factors, that is 4, a, and cube root of b. When we will expand, we will subtract the logarithm of each of these factors. So first, let's bring 4 down and start a parenthesis. Then we will have log base 2 of x cubed plus log base 2 of x plus 5 to the second power minus log base 2 of 4 minus log base 2 of a and minus log base 2 of cube root of b. So here is something important to keep in mind. When we expand, the logarithm of each factor we had in the numerator will have a positive sign in front, but the logarithm of each factor in the denominator will have a negative sign in front. If we take a look at the quotient rule, then, because x is in the numerator, the logarithm of x has a positive sign in front, but because y is in the denominator, then the logarithm of y has a negative sign in front. Also, in this step, we used parentheses because this 4 is multiplied by the entire expression. Now, in the next step, we need to move any exponent in front of the logarithms. So, we will move 3 in front of this logarithm and 2 in front of this one. And in this logarithm, first I need to rewrite this radical in exponential form. Because this b has exponent 1 and the index is 3, then the exponential form is b to the power of 1 third. So, I will rewrite down the whole expression and in place of cube root of b, I will write b to the power of 1 over 3. So here we have it, and this is the only change I made. And now let's move each exponent in front of the logarithms. So I will bring 4 down, start the parenthesis, then move 3 in front of the logarithm and have 3 times log base 2 over x plus, now let's move 2 in front and then have log base 2 of x plus 5. And now here we have a logarithm that has only numbers and we can evaluate it. So the question is, 
base 2 to what power makes 4? That would be 2. So the value of this logarithm is 2. So we will write down minus 2, then minus log base 2 of a minus and now we will bring exponent one third in front of the logarithm. So one third times log base two of b. From here we could distribute four and remove the parentheses, or we could just leave the answer as it is. Thank you for watching the video, and please let me know in the comments if you have any questions.